Steve, do you feel like um, Netflix is going to be, uh, do you feel like it's a different standard in terms of what you're going to even metrically? Oh, completely. It's yeah. mystifying. <laughs> uh, quite how frankly. How do you know how much money to demand from them? <laughs> you just got to take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> then double it. <laughs> um, it it's this weird thing. Uh, my first experience with that Netflix model was on Spartacus um, for some very odd reason, it was decided at the very upper levels uh, of stars at the time that they would air each week weekly episode the night before it aired on stars, they would drop it on the Netflix, which seems a little bit counterproductive in my personal opinion. Uh, but apparently it did hugely well. How well to this day, I cannot tell you. <laughs> not only do and they did you get paid for? <laughs> Well, not from Netflix. That's interesting. <laughs> but I, get, I did get paid. Um, but the weird thing is, is that they don't release numbers to the general public. They don't release it to us. We have no idea. You have absolutely no concept. Um, all you do is have a vague gauge that, uh, you know, it's successful. And you just have to trust them. But what I find fascinating with Netflix is they have such confidence, such balls, that they don't give a damn about the numbers. They look at it and they say, oh, it seems to be popular, let's keep going. It, it, it's a subscriber-based model though, right? And it, which is, you know, uh, like I'm, I'm fairly idiotic about this stuff, so it's sort of like um, Netflix is a subscriber-based model, so if people are buzzing about Netflix shows, then you feel like you have to subscribe to Netflix, like because, you know, hot things are, are, are happening there. Yet HBO is also a subscriber-based model, and they care about numbers. Right. They, they, they certainly do, and, and, and obviously the businesses are different because one of them is, uh, is bundled on your cable box. I'm sure this is fascinating to all of you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to talk to Steve for a while. <laughs> but, you know, and, and the other one is, um, is, is streaming, and you can watch it o over the internet. But I, I, I am sort of fascinated by this. I, I would have to imagine that if, if nobody was watching a show on Netflix, that it would go away, like that they would stop uh, 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 putting it putting it up there. That just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, I mean, a former uh, journalist. I, I, this is terrible because I don't have three sources. I just have the two guys from Netflix who were standing in front of me at Pete's having a big loud conversation. Because <laughs> I'm a girl, I must be a mother, right? I wouldn't know anything about these numbers. Three, three quarters of a million, uh, three quarters of a billion dollars. <laughs> That's three quarters of a million I, I, dollars. I, what? Billion. Oh. But, but like I said, I don't have sources. I just have the two guys at Pete's. <laughs> I'm just saying somebody's making money, I think. Oh, oh they're, they're definitely making money. Yeah. And, and look, maybe it'll change in 10 or 20 years. Uh, and they'll make even more money. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly, but it, it is strange. And the other, the other thing that, you know, this will be the first time I've experienced this. Um, we're shooting all 13 episodes of Daredevil. And it's like a 13 episode movie event because all 13 episodes are available at the same time. It's, uh, it, it's, it's fascinating. I'm kind of curious to see how it, how it works out. But one of the other weird things is when you're working for somebody like Netflix where it's you know internet based, we had a lot of creative conversations, not with Netflix, but internally there was a lot of pressure that, you know, well, let's not frame it cinematically because people will be watching it on their computers and their iPhones. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Of course it's got to be cinematic. It doesn't matter where you're watching it. You still want the highest quality and the highest level. And as far as I'm concerned, eventually somebody will watch it on their television. And don't you want it to look good? So you're also kind of fighting that creative thing about what does it mean when you're on the internet? And having an argument with people that, no, not everybody's going to watch it on their goddamn phone We've got to make a good show first and then shrink it down to the phone. <laughs>